waited and waited and waited for this race to explode. And now it has. It's all opened up and right into the wall big time. That was a huge impact. He's managed to bounce back, but his day's done. He's out of the picture. So is Russell Ingle. And one of the HRT cars there. Ingle off at McPhillamy. I think that could have been Mark Scaife in two. I'll confirm it for you. It's diabolical up there. You've got to pay marks for having a go, but cold tyres have crueled the day for this bloke and his teammate, Adam Macro. They were so, so close. OK, mate, there's a safety car out. We, we need to get you into pit lane as soon as possible. So close. They came in and took a gamble, and it didn't work. It was a big impact. And Scaife is the other car involved. But separate incidents. Davison just said he's in the wall hard. He is. Will Davison in the wall. That will trigger a safety car. Yeah, that means the fuel problem car goes away. Got a car on line entry to turn nine. Yeah, mate, just keep talking to me. You'll be OK. Just keep talking to me. So keep chatting. Oh. And he's made big contact. Big contact up at Reed Park on the exit of it. Still with me, mate. Tanda goes through. Yeah, mate. Yep. Yeah. He's hurting. It's knocked the wind out of him for sure. Okay, so he's jumping. Jump sideways on the marbles, big contact with the wall, safety car, and that means that they'll all be jammed up for another run to the flag. Fuel won't be the problem now, but traffic and fighting each other in a dead set brawl to the end will be. That was a quick shot, that was Rihanna, Will's girlfriend, crushed. Absolutely heartbroken. Oh, problem for Stephen Johnson rotated now. Could this day get any worse? Stephen Johnson has gone into the wall at the top of the hill. The right rear corner of that car caved in. Oh. That is unbelievable. Stephen just got to the lead. It was a very healthy exchange with Tim Slade. He did the crisscross. We're on board with Tim there now. Sorry, with Steve. When he got by Tim Slade down to Murray's corner, it was a very nice pass, was leading the race. Now can't get a gear. Check this out. He was gone. He was sideways. This is similar to Murphy, similar to Mostert from last year. His own. He just guy rated by himself. Now, I wanted to make the point about car one. Oh, the safety car's back out again. You're kidding me. So big contact with the wall there. Between Sullivan Park and Reed Park, there is the stricken Ford Falcon of Steve Johnson, his dad. And they're looking for the race leader car 10, Tim Slade, to pick him up. This will be the fourth safety car intervention. There he is. And he's actually peeling off now as well. The order and a oh, big a huge crash. crash from Moffat. He's gone off again. And this, this will is safety car. This will be the safety car that could change the race again. Heartbreak for James safety Moffat. Car, this could save car, some of those safety at the car, front. Man, We've got 20 car, laps man. remaining. And this changes the game again. He gets it crossed up and he whacks the outside wall between Reed Park and McPhillamy and he's parked it up on the left side. It already had damage on it from the contact with the tyre wall and this has finished it off sadly. Came out of that groove that we've been speaking about through the day. That's very high speed and that car in its fourth contact with the wall here this week. Richard Musket, James had one and now another two late this afternoon. And they've got a big turnaround for that between now and our next event at the Gold Coast in two weeks' time. Now, if you're Van Gisbergen and you're down in the Red Bull Holden Racing Team, do you bank on another safety car and just stay there? Well, that's what they're gambling on at the moment. They're hoping that these are the sorts of things that will give them what they want. We'll have a look at this in real time and listen. That's a big hit. A serious impact, that one. And uh, that car will be seriously bruised. Safety car scramble. Safety car. Safety car scramble.
Car number 35 in the wall. Reed Park, top of the hill. And an immediate Fox reaction Fox. by race control. It's Todd Fox. Hazelwood. Fox. It's going to be a yeah. massive amount of cars in. The yeah. radios yeah. have gone mad. Oh, gee, it was in the fence early, wasn't it? I've never seen a car go in there that early. Here's what it looked like. Ooh, that was right at the metal crate, so... Not even at the... Was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, was it was at the first part of it. Oh, was it? Right, yeah. OK. Oh, more trouble now. So we've got a drama for Goddard, who's plucked the right front out of that car. And where's this thing going to land? And what impact on this race with just six laps to go? So what happened here? Well, that just steers oh. straight up into the wall on the run between Reed Park and McPhillamy, and that's a heavy whack. That will hurt that one when you hit that concrete wall there at that sort of pace. Look at the lock that he's got on. He knows what's going to happen. It's understeered into the wall and crunch. That is a bone oh. shaker. And Matt Stone will drop his head. What a traumatic weekend for the group of men and women in that garage. It's a new young team. They've put in a valiant effort this weekend. They've had their trauma and that puts an awful exclamation mark on the conclusion of proceedings for them. And that's Zane Goddard who stepped out of the car. He's done a mighty job this weekend, pace-wise as yep. well. In fact, the two young drivers that have shared this car